You can use a wet-dry vacuum both inside and out to clean up messes that an ordinary cleaner can't handle. This powerful picker-upper can suction everything from leaves to small pieces of wood. And if you remove the filter bag from the tank, it can vacuum liquids too. A wet-dry vacuum is lightweight, yet can handle heavy-duty pickups that would ruin an ordinary vacuum cleaner. Most of the components are plastic. This machine produces them by shooting molten plastic into molds, then cooling it to a solid state. A robot extracts the finished parts. All the vacuum's parts are injection molded except for the electric motor. The motor has two fans. One cools the motor itself with ambient air, and the other creates a vacuum to suck debris through the hose. The vacuum fan is in a separate chamber, so that liquid never comes in contact with the motor's electrical components. Workers place the motor in a plastic housing with the drive shaft facing upward. They put a spacer on the shaft, then mount the vacuum fan, securing it with a nut. They close up the housing with a grid plate. This prevents fingers from accidentally touching the fan. They now take the head assembly to a testing area. They'll run the motor for up to 10 minutes to make sure everything functions correctly. Then they plug it into a second test station, which verifies that there's adequate suction and no electrical short circuits. If everything checks out, they send the head assembly to the packaging area. There, workers assemble the rest of the vacuum. At the first station, a press locks the inlet securely in a hole at the front of the tank. At the next stop, a worker places a package of screws, an instruction manual, and four casters to be installed by the purchaser in the tank. Next, workers take the head assembly and add it to the vac's top cover. They load the vacuum's lid onto a carousel along with a pleated paper filter. The filter prevents dust and fine debris from getting into the vacuum fan chamber. Then they mount the head assembly on an automated screw driving machine and place the lid on top after first removing the filter. Once the lid is screwed to the head assembly, they put the filter back on. Now they place the assembled lid onto the tank and snap down the latches to secure it. The final stop on the line checks the suction power the electrical system, and make sure the on-off switch works correctly. If the vacuum pass is testing, a robot picks up the unit and places it in a retail box. Workers add extension wands, a nozzle, and a hose. Then finally a filter bag is added, which is only used when vacuuming up dry debris. Consumer wet-dry vacs come in several tank sizes, from 1 to 24 gallons.